Hey, it's Coach Mackey, and what we're doing today is the Weights Wednesday Workout Part 2, where we focus primarily on our leg exercises. The last one we did all upper body, but today we're going to do our legs. And before you get started with your uh, leg workouts, you want to do a little bit of stretching. Um, leg workouts can be pretty demanding and complex, and... Uh, you don't want to get sore, you don't want to pull any muscles. So, let's start off with the normal leg stretches we um, have always done before. And I'm not a big um, leg workout guy. Um, one, that's not any of my fitness goals. Two, my legs are big enough. And um, I'm trying to be more of a runner. So I'm not trying to build any muscles in my legs, and I'm not tr trying to get stronger in my legs, not yet. Maybe later on, once I get, um, once I start getting closer and closer into basketball shape, I start doing more leg exercises, explosive movements, and stuff like that. But I'm trying not to go too heavy on the legs, because sometimes going heavy on the legs early on when you're working out, it can cause you to, um, it can take you out a couple of days because of how sore it can make you in the recovery time. So, and that's going to be a reason why I'm not going to go too heavy on the weights. Uh, just because I'm just, it's just not part of my goals, but for this video, I'm going to be showing you the exercises you can do. If you have access to a weight room or a gym membership, again, this is um, none of these workouts we're trying to go too hard on. The, the most important, what you're supposed to focus on when you're working out is one, you want to try to feel better after workout than you did before you started working out. You want to try to have more energy after workout than you did before you started the workout. And three, you definitely want to be able to work out again tomorrow. So you don't want to work out so hard today that you cannot work out tomorrow because you either wore yourself out, made yourself too sore, or worst case scenario, you hurt yourself. So we're definitely not trying to hurt ourselves or make ourselves too, uh, too sore. And that can happen. If you try to go too hard, too fast, do too much, anytime you do anything too much, you're going to hurt yourself or the risk and the potential to hurt yourself is greater. So let's uh, just start off with some just simple squats, warm up the legs. Doesn't matter how many you do, just enough to really get the blood moving around. Again, I'm not trying to do too much here. Um, you ever want to do right the squats? I'm just going to be doing the bar. I don't want to do more than that. Um, that'll be for a later time. All right, I'm going to be moving, probably moving this thing around a lot. Let me see if I'm on this thing. Okay, do some, do some calf raises right here. You can do this on any curb or stair step. Just make sure you're balanced. You know, get that full flexion in there. You can do them with one leg at a time. Again, not something I'm trying to do a lot of or try to wear myself out because leg exercises can definitely um, wear you out pretty fast. You can see this whole thing? Okay. As always, safety is the priority when doing your um, leg exercises. So Because bad things can happen. You can injure your back, spine, and you definitely don't want to injure your back or spine. You're going to need that for the rest of your life.
Now there's a couple ways you could you can go about doing the squat. There's folded, um, there's back squats, there's front squats. Uh, traditionally, I have to use this thing right here. I'm gonna have to move my laptop. I'm gonna have to be moving my laptop around. Again, I am not doing these exercises to be better at any sports or I'm not trying to jump higher or anything. It's just, just adding a little bit of resistance uh, to get a good um, workout in the muscle, you know, just like going for a run or doing push-ups or stretching, you know, just adding a little bit of stress to it. So what you're going to do is put your hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, step under the bar, get it right on your shoulders right here. Keep your body straight, legs about shoulder width apart, always look up and slowly go down. It doesn't, I mean, in back up, down, back up, down, back up. And you want to really, really go light on your first leg day, because if you go too hard, you're really gonna stretch out your hamstrings. When you're going down, you got all that weight. It's really gonna stretch this area. And if, you know, if I'm not too careful, you, you can tell when you do it. So that's why I'm not doing too much. And I didn't even do too many reps because I'm not interested in being sore at all. Not this week, not this weekend when we don't have any games. And my main goal is to run. And the other way to do your squats is the front squat. This kind of takes the pressure off the back, but I don't think I can show that one. I think we'll just stick with those squats right there. That's enough. There are box squats that you can do. It's just a variation. I don't know exactly I mean, there's so many var variations to doing all types of workouts where you can go all the way down to the floor. Or you can go halfway down. They all train the muscles differently. Like these are box squats where you go down and rest and then push up. I'm not exactly sure what that does differently. I mean, it just triggers the muscles in a different way. Sometimes you can do more that way. But it's good to have variety. I've been finding all sorts of YouTube videos that um, uh, guide you through different ways to exercise your legs. Um, let me turn this over here to our leg press machines. I don't know if you can see that. Um, definitely going to be taking the weights off of this. Wow, that's a hundred. I'm definitely not doing that. Jeez. Okay, if I can get this off. Ooh. And this is a good time to talk about uh, weight room safety. You definitely want to make sure you're wearing shoes. You don't want to drop this stuff on bare feet. Even with shoes on, this is going to hurt you. So you got to really make sure you're careful. Sometimes it's a more of a workout just trying to re-rack uh, re the weights. That's tough to say. Re-rack the weights. All right, now. I imagine you can look up a whole lot of YouTube videos of people breaking their legs with this machine, which is another reason I don't use it. Let's figure out, warn you. And what you'll see is they'll push up and then they'll lock their knees 
and then their knees will bend backwards like that, and it's like the most painful thing to see. It's the most painful thing to hear. And from all the videos I've ever seen, and all the instructional videos, this exercise isn't it really, is it even really that worth it. I'm pretty sure there's a there's some good to doing it. Maybe if you're a bodybuilder, I don't know, but functionally, I'm not sure. Um, you could switch your foot position. Um, and one of the things they why they say don't do this one as much is because it disrupts the natural. Um, movement of your body because like it's keeping your part of your body at a fixed position while it, the rest of your body so like it's not mimicking real life movements and when you're lifting weights you kind of want to make sure they're mimicking real life movements and usually that means something's touching the ground to maintain your balance so another reason why I don't advise on doing a lot of leg workouts. Um, now, we're, now we're at the part where we do our leg extension and leg curl. Am I there? Okay, so So of course the leg extension is when you, you're bending your ne leg from a uh, flex position to a straight position, like this, and going easy on the way down. This is your largest muscle group, the hamstrings right here, the quadriceps. And you're just going up and down, under control. You don't want to go too fast. Always, of all your exercises, you want to be under control. So that's the leg extension. And then we got the leg curl. Where you're gonna go from an extended position to a flex position. And again, you wanna be under control. And then there's debates on whether these exercises are good for you or not, you know. Um, I think to a degree, they're fine. But of course, if you do anything too much, it's not going to be good. Now, let's go back to using that bar again. And this is called the straight leg deadlift. The regular deadlift is more about your back and posterior alignment and all that. Um, so your legs are pretty complicated. And the straight leg deadlift is you keep your legs straight and you slowly go down. And then slowly back up. This is working out your hamstrings. And slowly go down and back up. Let's do one more. There we go. legs. There's a lot going on when you um, when you're squatting. With what muscles are doing what. You got muscles going in different directions. You got some flexing and some extending. Like when you're going down. In some ways some of your leg muscles are extending. So it, it can extend here but part of them are contracting so they can contract here. So they're part, and then down here, they're contracting 
but also extending back here. So at both times as you go down and go up, both sides of your leg muscles are both contracting and flexing because they get longer to bend here, get longer to bend there, get smaller to bend here, get smaller to bend here. So there's a lot going on. And that could be why you, so many things can go wrong with your knee when you're playing sports because you know, what they call it, what they call those the non-contact knee injury when nobody hits you because if somebody hit you that's if somebody hit you but a lot of times and Derek Rose is probably the most famous example he was the M youngest MVP in the NBA history following season messes up his knee just because he's moving so fast and planting nobody touched him messed up his knee and he hasn't been quite the same since. So that's why a lot of care needs to be taken when you are exercising your legs. And another reason why I don't go too heavy, because there's no reason for me to go heavy on them. It just seems like more bad can be done. Now, if you're an athlete on one of the Bowman sports teams and you have a coach training you on how to lift, then definitely listen to your coach on what to do. Definitely do all the warm ups and everything, but if you're just general fitness, I personally just avoid it all together because again, my goals are to get better at running and pull ups and stretching. Those are my three goals I wanna get good at, but I'm sure one of these days, once I reach other um, uh, fitness goals, I'll, uh, I'll probably maybe lift my legs again because it is when you're when you're already in good shape when you're in peak fitness doing leg workouts is very therapeutic it's very cathartic it's you get because the leg muscles are so large part of the biggest muscles in your body you get a very good workout you get a good sweat you get a good uh pump and getting that pump that muscle pump feels really good and if you get a good stretch and then follow it up with a nice 30 minute walk, then you feel like you've gotten a, a good workout and a total calorie burner too. You're lifting with your legs, total calorie burner. But as much as I wanna be fit, as much as I wanna be in peak condition, I even more so wanna be safe. And I don't wanna be injured. And I don't wanna be sore. And I don't wanna be too tired to work out the next day. So I do feel more energetic than I did before I started this workout. I definitely feel better than I don't feel sore at all. So, so far it's been a good workout. I just did some very, very minimal and very light exercises. There's a couple more that you can do. They involve using dumbbells. Here. Again, not going too heavy, just enough for a demonstration, which is, I don't I, I don't, I do not recommend you going anywhere above being able to just demonstrate, because this could be pretty dangerous, because you're standing up on things, a step up, and again, you really want to be controlled when you're doing these. I know you kind of want to go fast, especially if you uh, you think training fast will help you jump higher or something like that, but you definitely, it's better than getting injured. I remember when I was substitute teaching before becoming a teacher full time, I was doing some jumping drills in this same motion, but I was jumping. And I landed and rolled my ankle and it hurt so bad. And you know that was a little bit of a setback of landing all my weight on my ankle like that. So, but that was a jumping drill, and there's there's no rush. There's no rush to do this. And again, we've done this workout before without weights, where you do your lunges. The 
is under control. Again, a lot of flexion and extension going on at the same time. basic um, leg workouts involving the weight room. Again, if you're on a team, I'm sure you do, I'm sure you do much heavier workouts. I'm sure you do more complex and demanding workouts. But this is just a gym class. We're just talking about personal fitness. And you need to make sure especially before doing any type of weight room exercises that you that you know what your goals are because your fitness goals may not require weightlifting and especially uh, leg workouts so make sure you've done your research make sure you've asked a coach or a trainer about what exercises to do make sure you learn how to do these workouts safely. I kind of just mildly demonstrated the different types of workouts, what they're called, how to do them, but there's more safety rules that go into this. If you were here face-to-face -face learning, we would definitely spend more time on the safety of using this, but since you're at home, this is just, oh, oh, let me pause this real quick. All right, class. Oh. All right, so that's the end of this workout. Again, after you've uh, finished your leg workout, definitely um, do all your uh, stretches and then also go for a nice 30 minute walk just to um, relax everything and um, try, uh, definitely stretch to um, prevent any kind of uh, muscle soreness because like I said, the most important thing is that you feel more energized and feel better after the workout than you did before you started the workout and you want to be able to work out so you can work out again tomorrow. So going too hard, going too fast, doing too much is going to make you sore, possibly injure you. So always be careful, follow safety rules and uh, stay safe so you can work out tomorrow.